This week on the 100K Footy Show, we have a couple of special guests. The Honest Beers boys are with us, and we are bringing back the stock market. We've got the Premiership Pie. We've got, We've got the got 10K Punters Club. And as always, the 100K Multi, where we try and turn 10 bucks into 100K betting on the footy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Welcome back to the show that was one kick away from 10K. Welcome back to the show that's cashing on the smalls. Welcome back to the bag of five with Humphrey, Lukosius, Waterman, Hardwick, Cameron and Kai. Welcome back to the show that advises you on bets that well, you should really stay away from. <laughs> Welcome back to the stock market, the premiership pie, Leggy and Wally from the Honest Beers Boys. Welcome back to the 100K footy show where every week we get our brains together, get 10 bucks, try and win $100,000 betting on the footy We're on a massive multi. Jev, good to be back. Oh, what an introduction to us. Thank you for having us. Boys, what do you call a rabbit with a crooked dick? What's that? Oh, fuck's funny. <laughs> oh, 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 geez. That's not bad. That's, that's not true. bad, Strong boys. Start. Are yeah. you introducing the boys now? Yeah, I'll, I'll, quick introduction. So we got the guys from the Honest Beers pod. So we got Wally over here. You may know him from the captain of the Grubs 11. He's currently on pretty much every sports bet. You're currently the ninja on the new sports bet out at the moment, I believe. I was the only one that had in my contract that they had to show my face. <laughs> oh, well, so. there you go. So welcome to the pod. Thank you for having us. Uh, thank you. Mate, oh, great to be had. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> and then we also have the Bachelor. Ah, oh, yes. Simon Legg. Yeah, so I'll, thank you for I'll coming. I'll take that. Yeah, look, no, no TV commercials for me. Just keep it, no. you know, keep it straight down the line. But thanks for having us in, in the home. I did say um, before we, we came up here, I uh, couldn't get in the front door and thought that the compound was harder to get into than the one they caught Bin Laden in. So uh, I'm all excited to come down and get me in. Uh, yeah, appreciate your generous hospitality. So thank you. So what do you think of the studio setup? Obviously, you guys got the big one. We've just got Morgz's kitchen here, which is... Um, Love it. I, I really like it. I like it. it I feels actually like No, I'm, I'm not kidding. I love this studio. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. I would come here every week. Same. I mean, look, we've had pizzas. We've got non-alcoholic beers. Everyone knows we're doing dry May. Everyone yes. The sun knows that. And look, honestly, we've kind of lost touch with the studio that we go to. We, we have. We've lost touch with so reality. I'll, Can I ask you guys a question? Yes. Have, have you recovered from uh, Friday night? Because I saw Jebby getting into you and you look like you wanted to punch him in the yeah, face. Yeah, I was crook as well. So I, I cracked the <laughs> shit. Jeb was real quiet. We'll, we were up and then I just knew if it came back the other way, Jeb was just waiting. He had that, he had that look on his face. And then he just gets his camera out and just starts chirping. It was a good win by the by the Swans and we got absolutely dog walked. I really uh, do you want to let the uh, audience know who you guys go for in the footy? Uh, yeah, so unfortunately I'm a St Kilda fan, uh, depressed St Kilda fan, and um, yeah, life's, life's tough and I don't really expect And you to did win. say, in my will the Saints win a premiership oh. by the year 2066, you said 500k on the under, it is a certainty they won't win one. No, I said you guys off air before we started recording that I could live till I'm 200 and <laughs> defy all human life and we still wouldn't win a flag. Oh, so God, that's um, yeah, it's tough, but that's, it is what it is. Wally's had a great life though. Well, I have had a very good life. I'm a Hawks supporter. Yes. Um, so I've had, a, I've had a great life. I've seen plenty. Um, and I've seen them as a kid, and then I've seen them as an adult. But Leggy's on board now. Yeah, I'm oh, oh, buying he, a membership. He's buying a membership, so Leggy's part mm. of the family. How is it that the week that I say that yeah. I'm going to become a Hawks fan, they, they have they a secure top yeah. loss. They have a secure top loss, 40 <laughs> points. They considered two goals in the last minute. It was very, uh, very St Kilda. But just one thing on Wally's Hawks fandom. Like, Hawks fans cop a bad rap. He's not, He is actually very good. Thank you. But he did say one thing that has always irked me, and that's – between 1991 and 2008, he had a 17-year drought. Mm. Like, it's how tough. fucking hard is a 17-year drought? I mean, like, we, we still, like, we were competitive in that, but it's just, still gets to Fair me. Fair thought for more. Keep me in your prayers no, tonight. I will. <laughs> I'm a bit tough. All right, boys, let's quickly go through last week's multi. So, we always like to touch on how we went last week. So, 18 out of 25 legs, Jeb, 69%. Dinner for two. Read out our stiff legs. So Who'd you have? I had Hugh McCluggage for 25 I thought he cost us hundred grand on Saturday night. So did I. Got subbed out. He only had sixteen. He had his worst game of the season. And then the White Whale, Christian Petrarca, to kick three. That one hurt. <sighs> hurt for other reasons. He kicked one goal. Well, he kicked one goal one and hit the post on an advantage. And then Morgs with bad legs. He took Melbourne head to head, yeah, which bad was leg. a shocker. Mm. And Max Gorn any time, which. He didn't kick one. He probably should have, but he didn't. Yeah, stiff legs. Nick Martin uh, had him for 30, so we really wanted to juice up the multi. That was a $2 leg. So I had to go in there. He had 27 against North, so give or take. 
Watson, he's out of the multi for a while. Nick the Wiz <laughs> Watson, we're not having him in. I thought Zach Butters was going to hit the scoreboard against the Hawks. He didn't. And then also Cozzy for two. You'd think over there, is, there'd be death taxes yeah. for two goals. Didn't hit that. Um, any good legs? Yeah, Jordan Dawson for 20. Tom Green for 25. Lockie Neal for 25. He had 36. And I called he would annihilate the Tigers. And he did. Josh Dunkley for 20. Mason Redmond for 20. Willie Rioli for one. Morgs had Peter Wright for two. Yes, Andrew McGrath for 20. And Jason Horn Francis anytime. And then the end of last week's pod, we got some of our fans to give us some legs for the last two yeah, games. Yeah, they go. Houston for 20, tick. Newcomb for 20, tick. Liam Duggan for 20. And Alex Neil Ball and tick. So they went 100%. The people that sent in legs. So, Unbelievable. Yeah. I right, Taylor Walker for a snag. That was one of the first ones. So we're well, happy mm. we got that. Ed Richards for 20. Put this on notice. That was a $1.56 yeah. $1. leg. So he's unbelievable. Charlie Cameron for two. We probably should have had him for five. Stringer for two. And Zach Butters for 25 as well. So those were our good legs. Zach Butters, by the way, that last quarter. I'm sorry, but 17, 17 disposal and just decided that, hey, boys, we're actually going to win this. this game. There would have been, and I'm sure I read that somebody said it's the greatest performance in football history. Like, there's always that <laughs> shit. That always comes up. But honestly, it was one of the yep. better quarters I've seen played. He really lifted them off the canvas, and I haven't, I wasn't able to enjoy it in any capacity, and I won't enjoy it in yep. the future because it's just not one I'm going to be able to rewatch fondly because it was a nightmare for us, and it was just a countdown. And then Campbell Brown, my <laughs> mate Campbell Brown, I love, I love Brown Dog. But Campbell Brown, with 48 seconds to go, just given the, well, they're home now. Oh, no. And then, of course, we're not then. So they score, and I'm just like, this is just over. We're going to lose this. And I've got to be honest, I've got to take some blame on this as well. My son, he's only six, but he's learned his lesson after the weekend, and we've had the <laughs> Don't discussion. Don't go the early crow. He's gone and changed the ladder on the fridge and put the Hawks <laughs> <laughs> up two paces wow. based on the live ladder on the TV at three-quarter time. So he has also gone the early crow. So I don't know if it was Brownie or Jack, but one of them's cost us. Oh, <laughs> I reckon it's both. All right, boys, we're going to get into a segment before we get into the 100K. So this is the most delicious segment in sports. <laughs> There's meat pies, chicken and leek pies, chunky steak pies, warm apple pies, Blueberry pies and Jeb's favourite cream pies. There's nothing tastier than Jeb's premiership pie. I can tell you that right now. The premiership hopes of every team in a scientifically calculated percentage format. Jeb, give us a slice. Let's go. Right, so 0%. Teams that just aren't winning the premiership Can't. This year. Put a line through them. North Melbourne, Hawthorne, St Kilda, Richmond. Sorry, boys, but they're not winning no. the flag this year. And I'm putting a line through Adelaide, Fremantle and the Dogs. Yes, they're good teams. Yep. They're pushing the Dogs can't win. They're good teams. They're pushing for the eight. I cannot see them good enough lifting the cup on the last okay. day of September. That's I fair. can't see it. I agree with that. 2%, the fraud watch teams. Cats and the Ds. The Ds season is a schmuzzle. And yes, they beat the Cats and the Power, but they also lost to the Swans, the Lions, the Blues, and West Coast. They don't kick enough goals to win the premiership. The Cats... All of a sudden, their midfield without danger is a serious concern. I had them with the biggest piece of the premiership pie when we did it about six weeks ago. But how times have changed. Hawken now looks old as shit. Yeah, he does. And he's moving like a forklift. Yep. Still 2%. The Lions and the Eagles. The Lions are starting to play some nice footy. But I reckon they, they're too far back and have too many injuries to ser seriously challenge for the flag this year. And West Coast. If you told me all Australian McGovern, Mudflat Waterman, and yes. the fucking kid Harley Reid single-handedly dragged this team into the eight, and then a fit Elliot Yo, Tim Kelly, and big Tom Barash jumped on board for the ride and they won the flag, I wouldn't call you crazy. I wouldn't wow. call you absolutely Tom crazy. Is huge. And they dangled that Norm Smith around Harley Reid's neck. I wouldn't call you absolutely crazy. So 2% the Eagles. Next, 5%. 5% chance to win the flag. Carlton, GWS, Essendon, and Port Power. All very, very good teams with major flaws. Carlton, injured, yes. lack of depth. And if you stop two of their five superstars, it goes a long way to beating them. What the hell has happened to GWS? All of a sudden, slow, slow and stagnant ball movement. Tobes is out of form. Midfield's getting a hold of them. They're still very dangerous, but I want to see it. I want to see it again. I want to see it soon. Mm. Port, good players all over the field, but can you trust them in a big spot? Backline, super iffy. I think 5% is fair. And the Bombers. I'm fucking happy for the Bombers. Second on the ladder. A good football team. Their major flaw to premiership success is they haven't won a final in 7,140 days. And you're telling me they're going to win three this year to win the premiership. 5%. Next. I can't believe that you've gone through a lot of teams and there's been small percentages. I feel there's a big one coming. 15%. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> the Collingwood Magpies. Yes, that's, yeah. that's fair. Yeah, I, that's was one, I was one of those yeah, that I wrote them off. I said they won't win it this year. They looked a step behind the competition 
competition. But the kid, Nick Dacos, said, nah, fuck that. Not on my watch. And he is hits and form. The Pies Army have got behind them again, and they're on a five-game win streak or four games in a draw. They're back in the top four, and they're watching teams fall around them. So, yes, they're winning, but teams aren't winning as well. Yeah. So they've just got a nice ride back to the top four. They're back in the premiership window in a big way. And finally, a nice, juicy 50%. Of the Premiership Pie, the Sydney Swans, the best team in the comp, and it isn't even close. The reason I'm giving them 50, they are three games on top of the ladder, clear on top of the ladder, at round 11. So they've nearly locked up a top two finish, you would say. They will go undefeated at the SCG this season, so you can nearly book a prelim final at the SCG right now, which nearly gives them 75% chance to make the grand final, which then becomes a 50-50 chance of winning it on grand final day. Does anyone disagree? Uh, before you do disagree or agree, if I gave you four dollars fifty for the Swans to win the flag, like all the bookies are, or a dollar eighty for the field, what is the better bet right now? Ooh, the f- well, if you're saying they're a fifty-fifty chance, you, your four fifty is complete and utter oats. <laughs> oh, it is, and if that's what you truly believe, you should be just getting he's, every. Well, he's piece got the mats straight away. Right, <laughs> straight away. I. The other thing is, I look, and if you're going to give a dollar eighty four fifty the field. I'm, I'm back in both because I'm going to make money out of it. So that's <laughs> fucking wrong. But all that being said, I think that this is why you don't just back one team and stick with it. You have to get on the exchange, get the price, and you've got to be ahead of the curve, obviously. Maybe you've missed the price on Sydney. $4, though, or $4.50 is more than enough to follow a team through. Uh, I know with the Hawthorne teams at 13, 14, 15, that's all they you ever got out of them. You, you got that four or five bucks at most, but most of the year they were $253. And you can keep backing them throughout. So I think it's a good price. I, after what I saw against Carlton, I'm considering having something on it. I think Collingwood is the one now that we go. Yeah. If, if Collingwood hadn't won it last year, just because back to back is so hard and you've got such a good team in S- Sydney in their way. Uh, they're currently seven dollars, seven dollars fifty. That's where I'd be playing. But if you can get over four bucks for Sydney, I, I think that, that <laughs> yeah. I'd take that. Over so he's field. taking the Swans. Yep, uh, I, Swans, Swans with the four bucks over the field. I agree. I'm happy to. So I got I got it wrong. Like early in the year, I, I I thought Sydney to win over twelve and a half was the bet of the century. Put everything you own on it, but I didn't think that they were a premiership winning team. So I, I'm eating humble pie. I'd take that four fifty every day of the week. Yeah, I you're gonna call me crazy. I still believe in Melbourne. Yeah. I still think their so defensive profile stacks up. I think when the game becomes... I know that hasn't translated to the last couple of years where they've been bundled out easily, but I still feel like if you've got a final at the G between Melbourne and anyone, and you know that they're probably only going to concede 60 points or 70 points... They can find a way I still to think win. they can find a, a way to win. Um, going to be really interesting over the next few weeks, see how they go without Lever, because he's yeah. so important to them, but oh, well, not writing him off. How bad did Stephen May look with Lever out of the side yeah. on the weekend? They need them both in there together. Yeah, they for can't sure. have only for one. Sure. But I'll tell you what, just to say one more thing, one <laughs> yeah. team that won't make the most of Lever out this week is St Kilda. Yes. <laughs> still find a way to kick yes. points. <laughs> so, yeah, the West Coast one's obviously a bit, a bit of fun, but Brisbane, I, I, I thought Brisbane were completely still are. Yeah, no, they're coming. Shot. You reckon? Yeah. They're coming. No, nah, they're too injured to win it, to actually oh. win it. They've got five ACLs on their list. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah with what's wrong on the weekend? Just a couple. Who knows? Who they, knows? They, they, they find, find a, a way. The they way. find they different do. ways to lose every year. And getting to the grand final and losing by a kick was just another way of not winning the flag. Yep. All right, we're about to jump into the main event, but don't go anywhere because the ramble's about 40 minutes away, which will be <laughs> unbelievable. So, obviously, we're starting the 100K multi, so we don't go over the Thursday, Friday night games just so we have enough time to edit it, get it up for you guys to listen, and then obviously consume all this information. So, we are going to be starting from Saturday. So, this is North Melbourne, Port Adelaide. For any new listeners, we put all of our brains together. We put $10 on this, and this multi pays $100,000. This is the intel that you guys want to be listening to. So, Jev, Port, North, the Horn Francis Cup, whatever you want to call it, yeah. do you have any legs in this one? Nah, no no legs for me. I still think Horn Francis looks like an overgrown midget, yeah, but fair. I do not have any legs in this game. Leggy. Oh, look, I've got Dan Houston to get 20. So, yeah, his, yes. last, his last seven games, he's hit it. He's $1.23. Uh, with Statmate, the implied number is $1.01. Um, thanks to Statmate for all that data. And Thank I just you. don't think anyone at North Melbourne goes to him. I, in fact, individually, I might just nibble him 25 plus yeah. as well. Yeah, love that. Um, but I think Houston 20 gets it because he just gets it every week. Yeah, love that. That's my only leg, though, for that game. 
Yeah, I'm. Well, we get the notebook out. What do you got? Yeah, I've got no, but I'm going butters, and I'm going butters. You could have butters for thirty if you want. I, we only need him for twenty five. Twenty five. That's Beautiful. all we need butters for. Twenty five okay. plus. Let me tell you about this. So in his last eighteen games, he's done that seventeen times. Guess what he did in the other one, Simon? Can't be twenty four, can it? It's twenty four. Yeah. <laughs> so he absolutely uh, does plenty. Look, he's played. He's played at this ground a couple of times, mm. and he's had 25 and 32. So no Perfect. issues there. Look, I can go through against opponents, all that. Look, we're talking about a, a North Melbourne team that are going to give up plenty of it. They give up the third most disposal in the comp. I think this is an absolute lock at 25. And coming off the best quarter of footy. Well, we might get 25 like in the quarter the way we went last week. And against exactly. North, so, so nice way to start because we, we want to be in early, right? We want to stay in early. Yep. So we'll just go 25. I was going to go the same. So that's why we had a bit. We mentioned that Butters knows that he's potentially on a Brownlow watch. Potentially. So these sides yeah. where you think that they, they might draw back, no, he's going to absolutely push through. Mm. He's going to absolutely take the ball by the horn. So absolutely love that pick. But... I, this didn't make it because obviously it's way too early, but we just think the way that we've been backing goal kickers. So we had Humphrey on the weekend for four goals at 71. The one that jumps off the page is Jason Horn Francis in this game for two goals, 390, for three goals, 1250, Ooh. for four goals, where are $19, and so for five goals, $81. Yes. That is every chance in the world. We had six guys that kicked five on the weekend. Yep. $81. How hard is it to find an $81 winner if you're punting? It's yeah. hard. And he pushes forward at times yeah. as well. I think it's a, he'll, he'll get shots up. Yeah, so it's a question of whether he kicks, he kicks straight. Kicked two last week. Yep. He gets he gets the superstar treatment. Center bounces out of the goal square, full forward. So You think that they make him, like just have Willem Drew in the middle, a couple of other guys, McAtee, and then just put him forward? Mm. Because he seems mm. to kick more goals than any of their other bigs. Yeah, they got a few myths in that forward line, don't they? Do they, they want, want to it. kick goals against North too. Yeah. So you just, I, I love that. I'll be getting yeah, really involved. Good. All right, boys. Next game, so we've got Carlton and the Suns. So this was the game last year, the Patrick Cripps Cup, yeah. where the Blues turned it round. We lost seven out of the last eight, and then we saw him, Jev. We went Morgs. We had a good chat with him, and the Blues turned it round. Jev, do you have any? Yeah, I'm going to take our man Jed Walter for one goal at a dollar forty-two. Choppers off, off a spell last week. Um, he, he missed his game, and then he's, but he's kicked a goal in his last five, with at least one goal. Dollar forty two is such good value for this kid. He, just his size. Have you seen the size of him? Oh, he's, seen the size oh, for he's an eighteen year old. We saw him in the flesh. <laughs> yeah, we, we did. saw him we in the Mount Mount fucking size. Of him. He must be twenty five years old. Especially if Weedering doesn't play. And even if he does, he'll probably have to go to Ben King. I reckon Jed might be too big for the rest of one the back line. One goal. But could we be sitting here next week and big chompers Walter has had a breakout game and kicked three, four, or five, and we could see it coming? Like, this yeah. is this something to keep an eye on. So, Jed for two, $3.05. Yep. Jed for three, $8.25. Jed for four, $2.34. Uh, sorry, $23. And for five, 91 to Ooh. one. Could we see Jed's breakout game this weekend? And we're sitting here next week, and Morgs is doing gold rush and says, you got 91 for one for Chompers oh, to kick five. I love it. And also, even if Weedering plays, he's thinking about that Saints offer the, the mm. table to him anyway. Yeah. He's, he's not even <laughs> he will, thinking he about Carlton at the moment. So, I, I love it. In fact, I think... Look, I'd, I'd be shocked if he kicked four, but I'm, I'm taking that three. Taking that three at oh, 825. 100%, 100%. For sure. And well, two at $3.05. Yep. Yeah. I, I agree with that. Can I just give you a little bit of data around that that could point to it? Because I went goal kickers as well in this game. And one thing I did stay away from with the Gold Coast players were the keys. Now, there's a reason for this. I had a look back. Both teams give up plenty of goals. Both teams score them. In terms of that, Carlton are the fifth most, Gold Coast the seventh most in terms of goals kicked. But the baggers don't really give them up to keys. The only two forwards, key forwards, that have kicked more than three this season are Cameron, Jeremy Cameron, Every and year. Tex Walker. So the thing is, I look at that, though, and I go, stars. but do you know what's interesting? This is why I like this. A heap have kicked three. Yeah. So three... Jetty one hundred percent. So that that three for Jed, I really really like. Yep. And we only need him for one in the hundred k. Hundred percent, which yeah. is a great leg. That's good. Exactly. Uh, look, I do have one leg. It's very very boring, uh, cowardly if you will. But we want to be alive. I've gone Charlie Kerner two plus. He's done it every game. It's a great leg. He's done it every game. <laughs> That's it. That's what he does. Be fantastic. Uh, leg. You know, not going to go broke. So let's let's get let's get around that one. There you go. And I've gone. I went goal kicker as well, but I, I went smaller. I've gone with Ben Ainsworth. Yes. Don't really hear a lot about him, but he's he's, he's more his favourite player, Skinsworth. Yeah. He, 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 <laughs> he kicks. He's kicked goals in in, in seven of the the last nine. Like he's kicked a goal two two one none one in his he last half dozen away, games. He? he does. Yeah. That's 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 against Carlton too. Yeah. So in his last Jesus. his last 
uh, half a dozen games against Carlton. He's kicked goals in five. So he's he yeah, kicking goals against the baggers and finding a goal each week, not an issue. And again, plenty of smalls and, and mids and that score goals against Carlton. I, I just want to reflect on the notebook. I'm looking at this in yeah, front of Yeah, by the way, he's got a notebook. I wasn't un- sure if you're gonna bring a laptop data. or phone, and but notebook. yeah, it's I a combination. It. It's the Statmate oh, app good. and it's the notebook. It's extraordinary <laughs> stuff. That's it. I went real gun shy. I reckon it's the first time I've never put a Carlton leg in. I just couldn't find something. I don't know where the blues are sitting at, but if there's one thing I do love, it's history. And last time when we went to go see Cripps, I'm like, what's this sort of game going to be like? How do you reckon you're going to go up against mm. Anderson and Rowley? He's like, we're going to bully him this week. I'm like, what sort of game are you going to have? He's going to be like, I oh, know, maybe high 20s and a couple. He had 27 and mm. three goals. So if you want to have him for 25 and three, that pays $23. Okay. So I'm going to be putting yeah, that on again. There's something about history that I love, love that. and I can see him going forward because we've been struggling to kick goals. He might get in the midfield early and then put him forward. I can see him on a beautiful day, 145 of the MCG. I reckon he's going to absolutely light it up. Well, let's just look at this for a second. They've had the they've had the back-to-back games up uh, in the North yep. Gold Coast. They did this last year. They did it really well both times. They come back to Worth now. They're going to... Mm. Heads will be the cold. They'll be walking tall into Melbourne because, you know, it's we've gone and smashed... Uh, we've gone and smashed along all of those things. Carlton could get a hold of them because we've yep. seen... If, if they both play at their best, we know Carlton will win. All right? Carlton's best footy is really, really good. Gold Coast's been good too, but if Carlton play their best footy and all their stars turn up, I love that Paddy Cripps. Oh, I think Just Carl- as a standalone. I think Carlton's one of the best bets... Of, of the week I genuinely do He's all I, over it I'm all over it I'll be having a go At a few different things In that match Shut uh, up a nibble <laughs> Can I have a little nibble At a couple of different things But I, I even consider Putting them in as my leg For this But as I said We want a, a complete search Want to so just try and get through But yeah Big chance Love, Hey I'm loving all these leagues So far Next mm. game boys Cats and Giants This is at the Cattery Jeez, this is just two sides where you just – they were absolute front runners. They were both into about 5 and $4 for the premiership. Now lost their last few, come back out. This is the Jeremy Cameron Cup, Jev. Is there anything that you like in this game? Yeah, I like Ryan Myers for 20 at $1.29. Just gets it done. He's played 10 games this year. He's had 20 10 times. 100% on the year. He's a very, very good footballer. He'll keep it rolling this weekend. He'll get his 20 at the Cattery. Love, absolutely love that leg. I, uh, this isn't one, so I don't want to confuse everyone. This isn't one for uh, 100K. But 100K, but I just want to say, I think the over-under is 181. I think you're taking the under. I reckon two good teams. It's going to be tough down there. It's going to be windy. So just have a, a, n- a nibble at that if you want. But for the 100K, I've gone Cameron too. Um, he's been battling a little bit of late. So against the D's, he missed two absolute sitters in the last quarter. I don't think he kicked one in that game. Against Port, uh, he kicked one and then he had the concussion. He's had a week off, but he's a dollar fifty to kick two, which is probably the best price you'll that get for him all year. Amazing. At home. I'm the same one. They yep. need him to do it. So I'm going to put him in there. And then um, <laughs> Jesse Hogan, two plus. He's done it all bar one game this year, yep. which to be fair, that game, we watched it because we had a bet on him and he should have kicked two. So Hogan, two and Cameron, two for mine. Yeah, and Hogan just does it. They just happen. Yep. Two yeah. great legs. Yeah, love that. All right, I'm, we're sticking with goal kickers. I'm going Tyson Stengel. I haven't looked at two, but we're just going one. We yeah, didn't so need to go so two. Good. We're just going one. He, do, you want, do you want to just know what he's been doing lately? Please. Yes. Three, four, two, one, two, two, four, two, one. Is that enough for you? Yeah, yeah. That's, what he's that's a bucket load of goals. <laughs> on games, right? There is right? a zero in there. Yeah, so that's he's, enough. He's, he's played, and that's that's... 10 games ago. That was at the start of the season, his mm. first game. Last three games against GWS, he's kicked goals in each of those and he's kicked six in total. And uh, nine out of 10 games at uh, GMHPA, he's kicked, he's kicked a goal. So everything lines up for me. And the other thing is that they're going, this game is so important to both teams. So the good players will stand Step up. Step up. It's like a final or round one. It, yeah, it, it is. really is. This, is. this is like an early top four final. Like if you want to be top four... You're, you're about to lose touch. Yeah. You two teams, you really need to be winning here because it's a slippery slope. So and, and, yeah, it's a great. I call. love our legs, and that's why that's why I like the under. Must win. That's why the under. What's yeah. that? Bit of a double must win. Yeah, it is a, a bit of a double yes. must win. The old eight point game. <laughs> yeah. Say, yeah. I haven't gone anywhere because I was with you on the camera, and he shears the sheep, milks the cows, and kicks the goals. So ah, that's yes. all I had, <laughs> boys. We're going to get into the next game. The casuals call it dream time at the G. But for the big fans, we know that it's known as the Dean Polo Cup. Yeah. Yes. So it should be. Obviously, he debuted that night. Yep. They weren't sure where the Tigers were at. He went out there, had 28 and 3. And it was just one of the most marvelling performances I've ever seen in my life. Dean, I don't know where you are. I'm not sure if you're listening, but hello. The <laughs> shirt. He's Dean Polo. I think he's recovering. Him. He's probably recovering Love from his shirt. From his stint at St Kilda. One of my face. Um, I forgot he went to the Saints. That's right. It was like 2011, 2012. You ruined him. Oh, you ruined him. I, nearly, I nearly got a game that year. Though, so. <laughs> Jeb, who do you have in this one? I'm going to go back to the well from last week. I'm going to take Mason Redmond for 20 mm. at $1.44. Last week I said it was the bet of the week at 
dollar sixty five best value all weekend, and now I still get a dollar forty four against the worst side in the league, Richmond, and he's just delicious. He had, he's had twenty three weeks in a row. He had twenty seven last year. Dream time at the G. So dollar forty four. Take it for all your multis this weekend. Mason Redmond twenty touches. That's, Beautiful. That's great. I've gone. Uh, Peter Wright, two minute Peter, to kick two. He's done it four out of his last five. He just gets it done. He gets it done. It's about a dollar forty. But the reason why I put it in is that they are playing a glorified VFL team. Oh, so they bad. will slaughter Richmond, and he could probably kick five. So that might be one that we ladder uh, individually. But take Peter Wright two plus. All right, I'm taking Nick Martin for thirty plus. Now let me give my thing here because it's a little bit high. We usually go twenty five, but they give away a medal this game as well, don't they? So players go a little yeah, bit harder. 100%. Now he's had 27, 31, 32, 30, 28, <laughs> 25, and then that game of thirty five and the forty four. So he's got over it a fair bit. He's been over at six of the last ten. However. Richmond give up more disposal than anybody in the competition, oh, yeah. and they give up more disposal to def- to vendors than anybody. Right, and like he's got one job there that will be to take kickouts against the team that don't kick that well, and to be able to run the ball out and they they look for him all play. the time. Yeah. Don't they? they look for him yeah. all the time. It's Come just going to be he, yeah. 30, 30 for me, considering he had. 27 against North when it wasn't great. And he's played teams that are more restrictive, um, like West Coast have been, GWS have been, Collingwood have been. And earlier, Port Adelaide's one of the most restrictive disposal teams in the company. He had 35 against them. Yep. Tell me you can't find 30 against He'll the G. He'll find 30. At the G. Yep. At the G, please. How much was that paying? That one is a dollar eighty-five. That's good value. Yeah, yeah he's really That's good. great value. Now, boys... We always love this segment. I've got a little who am I for you. Okay. So let's have a guess. My nickname is The Pigeon. I'm Canadian. My guilty pleasure is watching Fraser, and I kind of look like Mac O'Donnell. Who am I? Oh, you said The Pigeon, so I'll go Glenn McGrath. No. I mean, I, I kind of feel like I should say who I think he actually is, or no? no. Who, who do you I, think I, it is? is? Is it Mike Pike? <laughs> he said he's Canadian. It's not Mike Pike. <laughs> it's all I had. Well, fuck, there it's we go. It's not Mike Pike. Uh, Canadian... Ryan Reynolds. It is not. It's Andrew McGrath, boys. For 20 uh, touches, $1.19. Yeah, he's he's hundred percent in his last five games. He's hundred percent his last ten games at the G. And I'll tell you what, last time at the Dean Polo Cup, he had 29 disposals at the MCG. So if we can get those stats over three formats, it's a tick, tick, tick. Mike Pike was, was he close. Canadian? He was yeah, Canadian. He was. Yeah, he's he a premiership player. I know, but how, how's like should I yeah, mate, tell us who you think it is? <laughs> That's well, a just, fantastic. We talked we, we sort of briefed me on this beforehand and I fucked it up. But Mike Pike was good in the end. Yeah. You look me in the eye. I genuinely thought that you had it then. <laughs> I was like, it's Mike Pike. Because I forgot that Andrew McGuire was Canadian. Because he is the pigeon. He is. He is the pigeon. Good. Just, you've, you've done well. <laughs> Boys, we've done well in this game. Next one. So we're finally on to Sunday. So this is where we get a little bit more cream. We can get a little bit more adventurous with the legs. Wally, you're going to absolutely love this game, boys. Hawks, mm. Lions. So Hawks had a massive upset this time last year. The yeah. Lions were flying. I believe they were 8-2. and two, And the Hawks, the young Hawks, went out and absolutely beat them up. Jev, anything in this one? Yeah, I had him last week. I'm going back to the well this week. The reigning Brownlow medalist, Lockie Neal, for 25 at $1.38. $1.38 been- in this multi is awesome value. He's had 25 three weeks in a row. He averaged 28 touches at Marvel Stadium last year in the four games he played there. And against the Hawks, he had 30 in round 13 last year in the big upset game. He's a midfield clearance wizard. Let's just watch him go to work in the igloo. Lockie Neal, 25 touches. Simon. Yeah, that's a great bet. Look, we did say we wanted to get more adventurous. I have I had to take one out because Wally and I had a clash um, and I obviously just, you know, Wally pulled rank yep. in the Honest Beers uh, <laughs> leadership group. So I've just gone Charlie Cameron to kick one, which is as cowardly uh, I don't mind it. as it gets. It's but a good leg. He kicked five last week and yeah. again, we just want to keep building legs. Just want ticks. So ticks. Ticks. Want ticks. Uh, yeah, and, and I think against against that Brisbane offense, like if we are to be in the game and when we're going to have to kick a score ourselves, and I think we can. Mm. I don't think this is a full restriction game. We're going to be able to get away with that midfield, yep. and even if you do, he'll find one. I'm going with the small as well. He's kicked eight of eight of uh, eight goals in eight of ten this year, and at Marvel, his last six, he's kicked goals and they've been one two one and then two two two, and that's Guinea. Jack Ginneman, he's we been love good for the Guinea. Hawks. Yeah. Love Guinea. Love he's him. actually, he's come he's to the He's turned you around, hasn't he? He, he You're really in love. has. He's turned me around. He's, 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 I would suggest that he is the one player in the Hawthorne team that kids might want the number on the back of their jump. Yeah. I don't think we've had a lot of that. Well, they can steal if it off there. you see, a lot of the numbers were from previous players. If you see a 15, it was because of Hodge. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You see a 23, it's probably still on there because of Bud. Yeah, well, that's true. They're probably That's what I was going to say. They're probably stealing it from their older brothers and older but sisters. The, the, the whole thing is, you, I, I can just see kids wanting to get Ginevan's yep. number on their back. Well, the Collingwood kids loved him as well. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, they he, loved him. He, he makes, he, he's just relevant. And I look, 
that all aside, he works really hard. His work rate's incredible. I can't speak about what he did previously at Collingwood, but his work rate for us is great. I think he'll find a goal. And especially in a game, if they do get a hold of us, He's just that sort of guy that pops up and kicks yeah, one 100%. against the grain. They look for so, him. Yeah. yeah, absolutely they do. So one goal, that's all we want, Jack. Boys, I'll be taking John Newcomb for 20 touches. This is still nice. a little bit short. $1. twenty-six, but he's been 100% over his last five. I reckon he started the season yep. a little bit yep. slow, but the last few weeks he's really starting to get their hands on it. And I believe it's the Will Day effect. When he's in the side, he's such a smooth mover like Bond. He seems to either get the first offensive draw or he gets it and then gives it out. And then him and Warp will go to work last year against the Lions at the MC. He had 28, and he was a bull. He was breaking tackles, running forward. I believe that they're going to be playing with a bit of confidence after last week, even though that they had that loss. And all the Hawks mids love to get a lick yeah. at the ice cream. They all like to look for each other. So I think 20 touches is an absolute lock. I don't know what this little same game is paying, but I'll have it at the end. But yeah, like this it. is a nice little one. Yeah, I might just have a double have on that. for about 50 bucks on this. Uh, any more legs? No, nah, no more. No more? All right, boys. Next one. So we've only got two more games to go. Melbourne and the Saints. So this, I was like, why is the Hawks lines at the... Um, under the lead. That's because this one's at the MCG. So we've got Melbourne and the Saints. Jev, anything in this yeah, one? Yeah, I'm just going to take Cozzy Pickett for one goal at $1.16. He's kicked a goal in every game he's played in this year. He's kicked a goal in his last 12 AFL games. It should tick. He just pops up and kicks one, doesn't he? So should be a tick. Look, we should have broken the strategy that we have on this to win 100K. I don't know what how much money we would have had to have put on for Melbourne head-to-head -head at $1.32 to win 100K, <laughs> but we should have put that on because I've gone Melbourne head-to-head. -head. That's my only leg. We've got no disposals. That's a fantastic We've leg. got no goal kickers. I think I think it's $1.32. $1.32 as Jeffy gets up on the screen. It just happens, doesn't it? And I'll, I'll, look, St Kilda are frauds. Um, I reckon if you want to uh, predict the score, I reckon we'll probably kick 5-14. And Melbourne will probably kick nine eighteen. It'll be a shocking game of footy, but the days will win. <laughs> yeah, like a terrible. Well, actually, day. Can I say one thing? Well, I know. I feel like I know my football team more than other people know their football teams. And last week, someone said to me, "Give us the St Kilda Freo rundown." And I said, uh, "Freo will make us feel like we're in the game all night, but they'll win." Yeah, tick. They won't win by more than thirty nine points, tick. and their under will hit. And you just I nailed it. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> so this is going to happen again. So disappointing. Yeah, it's great. There you go. All right, I'm going. I've got a couple in this to Beautiful. just bolster up the uh, the Sunday the stocks. Now, <laughs> firstly, uh, Kate and Oliver, since the hand injury, and he's all he's been cleared and he's fine. And ribbon he's toe. 31, 26, 26. He's playing a St Kilda team that we know give up absolutely heaps of disposal, mm -hmm. and they're happy giving it up to defenders and mids. So he goes in just one twenty five. Yeah, nothing perfect. special. It's the sort of game that he'll have. The other one for me is uh, Fritch. Bailey Fritch for two goals. Fritchel. Look, it, this is kind of what he does, right? So he has done that in seven of his last eight games. He had one in the other one, and that was against Carlton. And we spoke about Carlton mm. restricting to, I guess, the not the key as such, but the, the, the main target down there. And then I go, if we go to the actual venue, he, he has a field day there. He's kicked five, a three, a couple of twos. <laughs> he in loves his, the G. His last Perfect. five games. So yeah. for me... Uh, two goals for Fritch, 25 for Oliver. Will he see Jimmy Webster? Oh, I reckon he, I'm actually, my only concern, I reckon he'll, he'll get Cal Wilkie and that, that could be, right. uh, but look, Cal Wilkie's been a little bit off like everyone else has. Fritch year, always so. gets his chances though. That's the, thing. That's the thing. Even yeah. against and the Blues, he, he missed, but he always gets his three or four shots on goal. Remember the game at Gather Round? He was just nowhere, but he still popped Third up. Third quarter. And just kicked some goals. Oh, that's what he yeah. does. He just kicks goals and he, he doesn't, yep. yeah, he, he saves his bags for grand finals and stuff like yeah. that. But like, <laughs> To find two, I reckon. I remember, That's a lot. I remember this game last year was um, Bailey Fritch wasn't playing and it was when everyone, their entire forward line was out and they weren't scoring. And St Kilda just played them in a form. It was fantastic. I think. <laughs> and that's. I and think that's because. Of, four no, that's because of this man that I'm taking. I wanted to bury him for four in this. He said we're only going to take the one. Petrarca won. Yeah. It's a dollar twenty eight. That is just yeah, interest, nine. isn't it? Yeah. He's going to bury this like non as spaghetti. So last year, as you did mention, <laughs> four yeah. goals. I don't know who's going to go to him. Mm. Um, I reckon that midfield's going to just smash yours, and he's just yeah. going to sit forward. Last week, we needed him for one more kick. And we would have won ten k for the ten k oh. punters club. I just think he's going to go nuts this week. He's another one of those guys. It's on Brownlow watch, and he knows, like, Juicy being him and Oliver last couple of years, even Viney had a really good yeah. start to the season last year. He's not there. It's just Petrarca and Gorn, and I think he's going to take his game to the next level. I reckon he's going to take, after last week, watching Harley Reid, I reckon they, yeah. they, 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 yeah. they, they, they take that a little bit personally because he's Absolutely. been, like, the fittest in the AFL. He's always so professional, yep. uh, does all his meals, and I reckon just seeing that on repeat a million times just Get being his. like, Fuck. Yeah, no, well, it'll happen. The Freo mids did it. When Lucky Harley Reid did it to the Freo mids, they took it horribly, and then the next week they had the best games of the season. So, 
I reckon, yeah, load up on Petrarca. Boys, we got one oh, more cool. game. Adelaide and West Coast. This is the final one. I'm pretty sure we've got a bit of cream in this game. Jev, anything for you? Before I get into my legs, I'm going to make the Adelaide Crows premiership contenders next year with my Galaxy brain take here. I've got a bit okay. of a game change. So, right. who says no to this trade? Okay. Riley Thilthorpe and Adelaide's first round pick, which will be a top 10 pick, mm-hmm. yep. for Max King. The Saints are done with Max King. They both need a fresh start. There's no way Riley Thilthorpe can be any worse for the Saints than Max King has been. And that way, the Saints get also get another top 10 pick, which they desperately need. Then you trade Dan Curtin, straight swap for Luke Davies Uniac. They're on different timelines. Everyone knows North should have drafted Dan Curtin last year. Now you can get him in the building and he grows with the rest of your kids and the Crows get the classy inside-outside tackle-breaking mid who they pay a bag to. 25 in his prime, ready to start winning. Then they sign Cam Zerha in free agency. Mm. That sort of centre-forward bull, a player they're screaming out for, a player they're sort of hoping Rochelle becomes, but he's just not yet. So the Crows start 2025 with Max King, Luke Davies Uniac, Cam Zerha. St Kilda get two top 10 picks to get more talent in the building or they can package up those two picks to Richmond and try and get pick one or two of the draft, take the most talented player in the draft and North Melbourne get Dan Curtin at centre back, back for the next 15 years and grow with their kids and they still keep their number one or two pick for the draft. Well, look, I mean, firstly, but on Max King, uh, he's all I've had that's been positive in my life up until this year and obviously they're just completely ruining him. So... Um, um, in terms of development, I'm sure we go to Adelaide and you'll kick 400 goals uh, in a season. <laughs> yes. Uh, that'll probably happen. And then secondly, look, I, I would love us to get two top 10 picks. We'll just fuck it up. We'll, yeah. we'll, do, a Hunter, we'll do a Hunter Clark <laughs> and Nick Coffield job again when we get like seven and eight. But like I said, you guys are fair. Everyone talks about St Kilda's missteps. If we drafted Bont <laughs> over Billings, Bont would be out of the comp. He'd be delisted. He'd be no good, just like Jack Billings has gone to Melbourne. We can't develop players. So... Like I'm emotionally, I'm not invested. I'm also a 2025 Hawks member, so f- fuck it. <laughs> Blow the whole <laughs> thing up. I drove past from Rab- I, I, On the way to Morgs, I drove past from Rabin and I thought about throwing a Molotov cocktail through the window. So I'm out, I'm done. <laughs> Fucking make it happen. Let's do it. You making the trade? Yeah, I, I love the trade. I love everything about the trade. I think you'd be wise making it. And then I think what it is, is then maybe take those draft picks and get somebody else that isn't like they're a little bit further on so they aren't as ruined. As you, so somebody that's not as impressionable as a first year pick that you guys can't completely fuck up their career, I think would be really, really good. I have a, I have a bold one. You know how they're bringing in the Tasmanian team and they're saying um, yes. we need to bring in someone else to make it an even comp. Why don't they just kick out St Kilda? <laughs> and then they don't. Have, and then they don't have to bother with it. Why don't they just get it? Would they? you go for Tassie then? They go for the Hawks. Oh, no. Hawks. oh yeah, but I, I'm I, actually I would have gone for the Suns. But when they, they, they are so merging, unlike, they are so unlikable with Damien Hardwick now. When so they're saying about merging talking. the Saints and the Roos, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you don't want that. That's like cause oh, I wouldn't go for that. You that can't team. send. You cannot force either of them onto the Tasmanians. They've had it yep. tough enough <laughs> waiting for a team for so long. No, good good news. you got a team. Oh, bad news. It's fucking the kangaroo. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You can't do that to someone. That's not fair. Oh, we could have sent them to the Gold Coast, though, because they haven't mm. done anything for football. I don't think we put a line through St Kilda. I think we just get rid of North. This is, I'm just coming out of yeah. They've yeah, just got the North. biggest drive. I don't hate them. You, you despise them. I don't really despise Wally them. hates football clubs that always have their hands out to the AFL. He just I just, how many them. chances? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, the Eagles. They even had the read pick and they back. fucked yeah. up. Yeah. 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 They had the read pick. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> they decided, they decided to win a random game in Tassie. No, it wasn't more important because that win did nothing for your culture. No, and it lost us no, a lot of money because yeah. we thought that was the unlosable. We're like, we're just going to load was. up on Gold Coast. Yeah, you got Harley Reid. Nick Larkey said, fuck yeah. you, I'm kicking seven. Jeff, any legs in this yeah, one? Yeah, give me Joe Dawson for 25. Yeah. 25 at $1.47. He's back to his best. He's back to pyramid form. He's had 25 plus four of the last five games. He had 24 and 32 against the Eagles last year. Mm. They just cannot lose this game at home on Sunday Arvo after the draw last time in Adelaide Oval yep. and the heartbreaker against the Pies last week. The skip will set up, step up, get it done. Jordan Dawson, 25. Simon Dawson. I love it. I've got two legs, but I'm a little bit worried about this first leg because of, your, be. because of your uh, premiership pie and all the way, you, the way you pumped up the Eagles. But I have the Crows head to head. I have them in there, oh, and I think go. what you said is, is right. So it's we'll, a must win. It's a must win, 100%. And I'll whack in uh, Saligo, 25. Um, yeah, I think it's about $1.55, $1.60. Look, he's done, he's done it five out of seven, um, and in those losing games, 23 and 24. Yep. But Rankin's out. Yep. Um, and I'll just say one thing on the Crows. I was big on them for the under this year because I thought their midfield was so-so. But full credit... 
to Matthew Nix. The way he's put Saligo through there, yeah. Rankin, they've actually got some 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 juice and some bounce and some pace now. So they've turned the whole thing around, and I think Saligo is a big part of that. So let's give him twenty five. Uh, I'm going Crouch twenty five. He's done it in thirteen of his last fourteen games. Yes, he has uh, four out of four against the Eagles in the last over the last few years. He averages 29 at the Adelaide Oval in the last 10. I mean, I can keep giving you reasons, but I don't need to. That's enough. 25 touches for Crouch. He'll find them. I'll just reel off two legs. So I've got goal kickers here. So we absolutely love goal kickers. The mud flap, the J train for two <laughs> goals, a dollar forty eight. Yep. Waterman has been unbelievable. Only yep. two goals. His last five has been six goals, five, four, three, five. It's madness. He's kicking absolute monster bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on the other side, I'm going for the wing nut, the Texan for three goals. Yep. This is $2.12. So I know this form hasn't been there so much this year, but the fact that it's at home, mm. and if you're becoming second in the Coleman, you're going to have a game eventually where you're going to break out. You want to know what he did against West Coast last year? He had 10 goals and nine goals. So yep. that's all the form Clean I need job. to hear. Yep. And the fact that it's at home, I just I know it's Barras and McGovern, but he'll get his chances, the Texan. He probably should have kicked two or three last week, but he just wasn't there yeah. against the Pies. I think it's going to be a massive turnaround game. It's a must-win game for the Crows if they want to try and make that top eight. Any other legs? Yeah, i got one more. How lucky is the city of Adelaide and the state of South Australia this weekend? Harley Reid is coming to town. Welcome. I still can't believe his highlights against the Ds last week. I've watched that goal about 500 times. That is yep. the smoothest, nicest goal. goal. It is so nice. Last time he was in Adelaide against the Swans, Mount Barker, gather around. We were there. It was like the introduction party. Like, kicked his first snag. Like, this is him. How good in front of us. Him right in front of us. <laughs> now he's coming back and he's kicking another one. The kid for a snag at a dollar eighty five. He's just kicking a goal. Yep. He kicked he kicked two last week and they looked easy. And he gets the superstar treatment as well. It's center bounces and it's one out in the fifty. Yep. Like oh. it is good to see for an eighteen year old kid with nine games under his belt. So doesn't he like the space in the yeah. fifty to get out of my get out 29 of twenty nine broken oh. tackles he's had. Oh. And that goal that he kicked, well posting our group chat today, Judd did one against Richmond where it was a set play, he went, got it, yep. and then the forwards cleared the 50 back because they knew Judd would, had a chance to run up to it. Whether they did that as well, because as soon as Reed got it, the forwards pushed straight back to the goal square, mm. and he got a free runner, and then the defenders, it wasn't until the last minute Melbourne defenders came up, he was already inside 50 and kicked the goal. So Blake. look for them to do that a little bit more. He's a fucking gun. He's a superstar. He's box office. He, <laughs> he's, if he's not one, he's two he's on who you're watch. tuning in to watch every single Great. week. Yeah, Greg, that, can we just, on that... What do we think about the celebration? It felt like there was something more in that than just happy with his goal. Yeah. I feel like he's enjoying his footy there. Oh, yeah. And I reckon that they are a chance to be able to keep him through his first contract renegotiation. Yeah. Sure. It, felt, it felt like it because there was a talk of, I think, Essendon. Of, you know, there's been rumours about Essendon making yeah. a big offer. And I reckon he's kind of like, no, you know what? I'm, I'm fucking happy here. I'm, I'm staying. I don't, I, like know, I don't know what under deals tables they're allowed to do, whether like someone's, hey, we're just going to give you some houses. He's getting we're going to give you some mate. property. We're going to give you some property. He will be yeah. set for Can he be life. the face of Hungry Jacks? Like, could he make a million a year off Hungry Jacks? Like Probably NBA could. players do. Yeah, yeah. Like, like all uh, the NRL, and NRL and stuff. Yeah, I could see him just never yeah. leaving West Coast. I hope he doesn't. That's Boys, it. that is us. So the multi here, this Ooh. is the first time reading it all out at once. So 29 legs, and we actually haven't gone too juicy as well. So expect a lot of ticks. $9.85 on this to win $100,022.55. This is it. we got Ainsworth for, for one, one, Kerno for two, Jed Walter Chompers for one, Dan Houston for 20, Butters for 25. Watch that tick. Stengel Gold, Cameron two, Jesse Hogan two, and Grind Mars for 20. Peter Wright for two, uh, Nick Munn for 30, Andrew McGrath, the Pigeon for 20 and Mason Redmond also for 20. Guinea for one, Charlie Cameron for one, Neil for 25 and John Newcomb for 20. Then we got Melbourne head to head which is probably bet of the week. Clayton Oliver for 25, Petrarca for one, probably should be for five. Bailey Fritch for two, Cozzy Pickett for one, Crouch for 25, Adelaide head to head, Dawson 25, Harley Reid anytime, Taylor Walker for three, the Scud Missile, Jake Waterman for two and Jake Saligo for 25. That is an Let's unbelievable yeah. match. Right. I feel good about I feel this. so good about this. <laughs> yeah, really so good. what, what what multi did we say that we really wanted to revisit? Was it the Essendon one? No, the that ho- was the, the Hawks one. The Hawks and the Hawks and Brisbane. But I just when you read that out, yes, really, it feels good, doesn't it? I oh, I tell you what, I liked. I like the um the Giants Geelong one. I, 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 I I'm going to back Stengel, the the Cameron, Hogan, Myers. That's, that's good. Being oh, like three bucks three twenty. 20. Oh, it's I'm like, going to back all of them. Yeah, 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 like yeah, every yeah. one of those. Yeah, but I, I but that, like that one stands out. So yeah. those guys are on the Discord and part of the Patreon. This will come out for you guys Saturday morning, so you guys can have all the bet slips. This will get emailed to you guys. Just click. This will go straight into your feed. 
and then you guys can put money on that if you guys want to. We're not never telling you guys to. Or if you guys just want to go the individual games, or if there's any individual legs you just like, build your own multi, but all the information is there. Boys, this is a fucking great... <coughs> I'm so excited for it. I'm too. And excited to do it with you guys. But appreciate again, thanks for having us on. We 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 just we wanted to be part of this. We've talked about this it for a long good. time. Jeez, if it clicks when we're on there. Oh, uh, <laughs> we've been thinking about this since gather round, to be honest, guys. <laughs> like, yeah. It's just been from the moment that we we all we didn't leave each other. We headed as a group from the hill <laughs> to the big house. The big <laughs> house. After, after the last game, after the Hawks nearly pinched one. Yep. And uh just one of the and just Continued on, on to finish off one of the great weekends. So it's been able to, to come and just re. Oh, I mean, we're drinking non alcoholic beer, which is not ideal, but to come back and actually. Yeah. It is it. a Tuesday night, though. It is a Tuesday night. Look, no, hang on. That, this is because we're on dry, mate. That has yes. nothing to do with being yes. a fucking Tuesday. <laughs> Yes, I'll say that true. <laughs> I would like to be having normal beers responsibly, of course, responsibly. But uh, yeah, no, guys, absolute pleasure to well, be here. Boys, we're not done yet. I know. Because, I know. Because now that the multi's done, I haven't a segment. It is finally back. Morgs, ring the bells. <laughs> right, we have the stock market. So we, there is a stinger over the yeah. top of that. So we screenshot all the markets. So I see where people are coming in, yep. coming out. So mainly we want to focus on the brown though, because this is the big night that if there's someone with a with like a big price tag on them, get on them now, because then if they vote better than what they're expecting to, that's going to come in on that night and then you're going to have a massive cash out option. Yep. So I've got a few little things here. So a few little tears as you will. So the Driftwood, players that have gone out to sea. Yep. So players yep. that... You will not see again. Darcy Parrish started at $34. He's now out to 251 Jeff. Yeah, he's gone. He's you not will winning. not see him out. <laughs> the 100 plus club. Blokes that are just having a sneaky good season. They're not going to win it, but we just appreciate it. Harley Reid's at 100 bucks. Trelaw's at 100 bucks, And Dane Zorko. Yeah, he's, 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 he's having a good season. He's big games. The next one. Outside 30 from the boundary. You might kick it, but chances are you probably won't dob it from here. So we've got Jordan Dawson at $34 and Lockie Neal at $34. You can't so, rule out Lockie Neal. He's just getting going. That's what I mean. Yeah, hey, that's, that's, that's what I mean. Both, that's what I mean. You might kick it from the boundary, but yeah. you're probably not I, a chance I might have a little nibble at that. So he yeah. started at 15. He's out to 34, so he's pushed out. So if you are going to have a slice, have a little bit of a think about it. The next tier. Guys, these guys are great players, but just bad timing. Whether it's due to not winning enough games, injured, or other players in your team's absolutely dominating. So we're at tied 14, Goulden's at 26, Rosie's at 26, so he's obviously been a bit injured. Yep. And then tied at 12, Petrarca's at 21, and Walsh is at 21. So Walsh started the season at 13, went out to 51, and now back into 21. So there's been a bit of movement there. I'm so shattered. I got on him at when he went into $10, and I didn't get on him at 51. Now, this is the tier, guys. If you love them, buy them now. So all these guys are tied on eighth. Tom Green, Jev? Yeah, what's he, what am I getting? $18. Yeah, it's a big price. Go if you love bit. him, get on him now, because we can see how quickly these swing. So what he started at? 10, uh, 15 bucks into 10, now into 18. If they have a good run towards the back end of the year, this comes straight back in. $18, I'd be doubling down. Noah Anderson, is it $18? If you, if, yeah. if you love him, like buy him now. You got three on the weekend, yeah, didn't he? Good player. Matt Rao, start at $67 into 18. If you love him, buy him now. And this is the one coming with a silver bullet that I will be absolutely smashing, Jev. Chad Warner into $18. Ooh. He started at 51. He will be just sitting in the slipstream. Of Heaney, they, they're all getting votes. Yep. And if Heaney just somehow they give him a different role, whether they want to manage him, he's just right there for the picking. So I think $18, Chad Warner is absolutely the time to buy. The next one, under the radar, Zach Butters and Bont and Pally. So Bont's at 15 started at $9. If you love him as well, $15. The dogs have been playing sneaky yep. okay. He didn't play the best on the weekend. And Zach Butters, I've been saying it all season. He was at 21. I got him again and he's into 13. Like, he's having an unbelievable yep. year. He gets north this weekend. Another three. That's going to be about nine to one by Monday. Yeah. Yep. The second tier, boys, miss the boat. If you didn't get on these guys, do not get on them now. So, tied for fourth, Patrick Cribs and Sarong. They're at $9. Mm. Yeah. I think, yep. like, at the start... Cribs feels too short. Sarong was at 34, then went into 26. Cribs started at 21. When they're both into nine. I don't yep. think you're really going to get much value on that. And the top one the dead favorites start to multi these into future bets if you guys want to make some money zach merritt seven dollars fifty for the brown though he's having a very good season yep. it's your nick, no, yeah. 
Nick Dacos was at 550 out to 15 back into 550. Oh, I wish we bought that 15. And then we Isaac Heaney started at $250. We say it every week. He's now into $4. If you love one of those guys, start to multi them into some future mm. bets, some basketball, some NFL over-unders. But that is the stock market, and that's where the money has been moving. But I'll tell you what, Chad Warner is an absolute smoky. Yep. Yeah, it's very well called. Very you, know when, well called. you know when some people call out – uh, like Damien Barrett said a few years ago, he's like, oh, I reckon you'll win a Brownlow. And I feel over the last few years, he's polled okay, hasn't he, Warner? Yeah, he polls all he right. He polls all right. So sometimes, like, he might just be one of those sneaky guys. If he gets votes early, oh, fuck, he's right there with him. And he kicks goals, so he's eye-catching. Yeah. And he moves, he's quick. Well, he, he gets three on the weekend. He jumps yeah. off your TV screen yeah. when he plays. Yeah. Like, the way he breaks tackles, so. But if you're going to buy a Chad, you nearly got to sell Heaney. You yeah, gotta, if you got a little, you got a little Heaney money, you just got to take a bit off and buy Chad because yep. they're not both going to win it. No, they're not. And well, Matt, a double tie would be fucking. Imagine that. Um, what did we say? Cousins Kerr came one two. Else. Was it Cousins Kerr or Judd Kerr? They were one two. Judd I reckon Kerr. it was Cousins Kerr. Really? Did they go yeah, one? It was, two? it was it was Cousins Kerr and then Dustin was third. There was yeah. three votes between all three of them. I think. Yeah. So it's so it's happened. We've never seen three. But that was a that, that was a small count though, was it? When it they was, were around the twenties, like, yeah, it was twenty. Like Warner's already uh, twenty nine already on twenty one. That's my point. Is if you continue to win. Mm. Yeah. And the these league. three players continue to be the yeah. one, two, and three every week. Then there is every chance, as long as it's not like the two and yeah. the three changing, and then one by getting the one. Can yeah. I just say one thing though? It's the umpires, right? They yeah. gave Lockie Neal a brown though last year when yep. he wasn't even in the top five midfield. Thirteen in the disposals that game against. The and he no, can I just say two? I know it, you're 100 percent playing the market, and everything. But on the night we got Lockie Neal at 13 the night that he that, that, that when he won, like he was probably yeah, we backed him. sixth or the seventh kind of player in betting. So look, I think Heaney will probably jump at yeah. two two fifty on the night. Maybe who knows even shorter. Um, but there might be someone like a Sarong who's at eight yeah. or nine who who it's may all win. In perspective, Zach and Butters, if you watch, go like I because I've invested him early. So I watch every single one of the games and I just watch him. I'm like, how isn't he in shorter? Like, I, yeah. re- I reckon he's like he's right there. Yeah, He's exactly. right there. If Isaac Heaney's name wasn't Isaac Heaney, if his name was Nick Dacos, he'd be a dollar fifty. Like it, it's literally just mm, I, I look at these. <laughs> uh but the only thing is is I have a look at this. Zach Merritt's one for me is that Essen are playing so far above themselves at the moment. They're playing amazing footy. Do we think Essendon's gonna finish this off and finish top two? Do we actually think that's going to happen? I don't know. So what's going to happen is eventually they're going to drop more games. Could he be on 14 votes, though, at Merritt? 15 yep, that's, votes? Well, I'll say right this. There. And then yeah, I'll look, a, at, like I'll look at the players around them and go, who's going to win more footy in the second half, right? So I instantly go Collingwood will, Sydney will. So I like all the Collingwood-Sydney players that are around him. So that makes me push his price out even further. Caleb Sarong's an interesting one because they're still going to have half their games at home. He's going to poll really well yep. in those. Every time they win, he seems to be the one that's in the box seat for the free votes. Brayshaw is no longer that player. Yep. Other players, have, they get so much possession out of the back. We know, we know that the defenders aren't going to get votes. So for me, that makes a lot of sense to get around him. Bonds should have won it last year. He should have won it. He should have won it last yeah. year. He should have won two should of have them. Two, yeah. Fifteen dollars, like, but it, it, it's so much footy to be there, played. There is a lot of others. Walsh is the other one. He just gets so much of it. The umpires do like him, yep. and the fact is, is that Carlton have had their dip now, but they're not going to. They're not going to fall off a cliff. The, the team is too good. I will say this though, in, in backing your point, we need to remember this is a fraternity that thought the likes of Lee Matthews, Gary Ablett Senior, Wayne Carey and Jason Dunstall were not good enough to win their fucking award. <laughs> yeah. So if if that's Shout the out to Nick Foote, though. Uh, yeah, but yeah, outside of yeah. Nick Foote. But if that if that if that is their level of success, I mean I just think of those as, as four mm. that that I just I'm gobsmacked by. So also, Gary Apple Jr. only won two. Yeah, I know. I mean, come on. He was dominating <laughs> that one where he got come injured. On. But yeah, the only other reason why I do like Merritt is the year that Cripps won, we just missed out on finals. Yep. And he still sort of has that influence for the Bombers where yep. if he yeah. gets his touches and kicks one goal, he's best on. Yeah. Like, and he does stand out and he's field kicking. It's not just what you look at, like, oh, he's had 25. But yeah, yeah, yeah. on the, the weekend, he had six touches and he had five score involvements the first bit of the game. So it's like he does different. It's not just look at the yeah. side, watch how he's playing. I reckon he stands out That's, I so reckon much. We, I reckon we look at that more than they do is my point. Yeah. So they look at disposal. If we, if they looked at the game like we did, then players in do they check team. it after the game? Uh, my understanding is they get the stats. Yeah, surely they know. It's like some kicks. They're like, "Fuck, that was a good kick." Yeah, I mean, they'd have to be like you've you've got to look and the midfielders every year are the ones getting the award, and it's usually the ones that are the in and under midfielders. 
that are there laying yep. the tackles, giving the ball back, like right there in. F- yeah. How many Lock games are last year where Neil might have had? Oh, there were games where Neil may have had 25, 26. McCluggage had 29 and 2 and was probably the best player on the ground. But Neil's Neil. Neil's Neil's yeah. yeah. that's, that's always it's my concern like with Petrarca thing. because Petrarca was always like, he's I, he's an incredible footballer, but is he more your 20 to 25 and 2 than more your, your, your 30 and clearances. So I, I just I look and go, that's why I always thought if one of him and Oliver is wins, probably gonna be Oliver. Just yeah. the thing with Zach though, he's he flies up in the last quarter. Like yeah. that's when he really gets going. And like Zach Butters is a he and he, he can go forward and kick a goal as well. Like, Zach Butters for me is one that ticks a lot of the boxes. Hundred yeah. percent. All right, Jeff, we wanted to do this the hundred K and the honest beers versus the bookies. If you guys want to get your phones out now, we're gonna find your favorite line bet for the weekend. So we did this last week. We're gonna we're just gonna pick our best line bet. We're going head to head with the bookies. Um what do you think stands out? So I'll go first. In what world are Richmond covering the 44 and a half points against the Bombers? Yes. So are we, So it's 44 yeah. and a half oh, points. Yeah. They've lost by 119, 91, 54, 43, and the Eagles beat them by 39. Yep. They are not covering that 44 and a half points. I'm taking the Bombers minus 44 and a half. That feels like free money to me, that line. Yeah, no, I like that as well. I, look, I said it off, off the top. I think the Blues. 16 and a half. Uh, I think they win the game. Uh, and I, you know, I, I kind of feel like this is a four or five goal win for them. So I'm, I'm, look, I'd love it if it was more like 12 and a half, but I'll, I'll take the 16 and a half on the boys. Do you want to go? Because I've got two I like. I'll go. I think Port Adelaide are going to absolutely smash North. 41. Adelaide. Yeah. North yeah. suck. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that is breaking news. They are. <laughs> they are and until that they show me something, yeah. I will keep backing against that, them. Does so. the Hobart thing make you. Make it like 15 points less. Like, if that's at Marvel to play. Is it in Hobart? Uh, it is. It's it's, a, there's it been is. high schools down there, yeah, hasn't it? it? I'll back it. Yeah. Well, the Crows still pants them in Hobart. Yeah, so, um, they smoked them. Yeah. yeah. Crows been by 57 points. Yeah. yeah. That's easy. Okay. Like it. Ollie. I can't believe Collingwood's going over to Freo with a start. You like the plus two and a half? Plus two and a half for me, the pies. I think Collingwood is back. Yep. I think that Collingwood are going to go over there, get the win. It's a really good call. I'm not saying that they're going to smash them, but they will go. And what do they do better than anyone? They win close games, yes, they yeah. whether they should or shouldn't. They are going to go there and see this as a game they can win. Um, yeah, that I, I I can't believe no one said your game, the Melbourne skill. Yeah. The only thing well, I you thought might, you were going to. Yeah, no, you I might just, just oh. tie it up a bit and Melbourne just fall over Ooh. the line. I think Melbourne will win. I said off the top that the, the Blues were my sort of best team yeah. bet, and I, I feel like I've piled onto the Saints enough. Yeah. I've got to show some versatility. <laughs> I, yeah. More versatility than our forward half. <laughs> so we're getting, yeah, I'm, we're I'm getting 13 third, to 1 for the four teams. Yep, yeah, lovely. Bombers, Launch it and all like that. I, I would say gamble irresponsibly on that. Put everything you own on it. Responsibly. So would I. Sure. Gar- Gamble is so <laughs> irresponsibly <laughs> that it's responsible. So that bet that will, bet will be on our Discord as well. Boys, it's officially time for the ramble. This is why people are here. So we're going to go into, because we don't get a chance, obviously, with 100K multi. So let's just kick off Thursday night footy. Jev, you're a diehard Swan supporter. Dog Swans, let's just have a spitball. Any leagues you like. Oh, there's heaps of legs I like. I'm going to this. Game, I'm going to this game by myself. So I called last week. If anyone wants to go with Jeb, <laughs> if anyone <laughs> listens to the <laughs> show, <laughs> you, you, and you, and, you and Wally could go to the casino. Oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I won't say, I won't say no to the cast, but. Uh. Uh, James Jordan's going to go to someone. I called he'd go to Sam Walsh last week. I didn't know how good a job he did, but he did a very good job on Richards. Him. I reckon, yeah, you said Richards. I actually like, I like Richards. I think he'll go to Richards. I was thinking Bailey Dale early doors because he was going to Jordan Clark and yep. dangerous halfbackers, but I think he might go to Richards. He's the best kick in the side. So, And then James Robon will stand on Marcus Bond and Pally. James Robon stood on Pat Cripps last week, had 15 tackles. So I think, he, and then you saw Cal Ward stand on Bond Pally, kept him to 18 mm-hmm. touches. So that's going to go. And then I don't reckon the dogs have anyone, and I mean anyone, to go with Chad, Heaney, yep. and Errol. So they could have big days. I think Errol for 25 touches at a dollar fifty is one of the yep. best bets of the year. Dollar fifty, chuck it in your same game as you got a leg for us. Oh, uh, I do. I have this one's head to head at dollar fifty five. Oh. I, 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 don't tell me. Sim- I know you know. Don't want to get. Is this not a danger game? I just feel like I, teams are going so too. well. It's a danger game. It is a little bit, but I also feel like the dogs are a team that we can't trust, and they've had two really good wins. They, I mean, they smashed Richmond. Who, you know, what does that mean? But they beat the Giants pretty convincingly. This is the game where. Uh, there's a little bit of chatter around the dogs potentially being something and they just kind of drop. And I feel like you guys could probably win this game at 80% of your capacity and, and probably will. You score too easily. As you said, the midfield scares the shit out of me. And I yeah. just think you will absolutely destroy the dogs in that sort of uh, quarter of the game of the ground. So Swanee's head to head dollar 55. I'm, I'm taking that anytime you guys run around a dollar 55 or a dollar 60. 
Yeah. Sounds good to me. Now yeah. I'm go- I'm going with a bloke who's a midfielder, but I'm going for the for the goals. And I went with him on our yes last uh, week, uh, our this. honest beers multi last week, which is Chad Warner, and he kicked three, didn't he? Oh. so I'm going Chad Warner for a goal. That this was nine dollars twenty five last week. Yeah, yeah. Three. I mean, like, he just kicks goals. It's insane. So why take him for the twenty or twenty five when I can take him to kick one at around a dollar forty, and it's a nice price. I really like the the call around the Swans mids. Like it could be Eric Gordon for twenty five. Yep. It could be in that. But um, no, for me, Chad, for the single goal, I'm happy with that. I just want to put this on notice because I love trends. And sometimes, you know, when you look at a game and something just pops straight into your head, this screams Jamara actually kicking a bag. He's done it a couple of times on primetime. Against Melbourne in 2012, round 19, he kicked five. Uh, Who else? Against Brisbane on primetime, kicked five. And then last year against Richmond, round 21, Kicked five. He's been absolutely dog's ass this year. Did you see some of his set shots? Looks like he's lost all confidence. I don't know what it is under the lid, but for two goals is still two dollars, yeah, which well. is good money. So yeah. for three goals is four seventy five. For four goals is twelve. For five goals is for thirty one dollars. So I'll be sprinkling on that if he gets his tail up early. Norton gets up the ground a little yep. bit. Could almost be one of those games like, hey, let's get him back into form because we know how good he is. Um, and look. But this could easily be Sam Darcy. So they're about the same price point, but I'm going to go Jamar. He's done it three times on prime time. Yep. So he's my big one that I'll like be looking it. for. So we've got Swans head to head, Errol 25, Chad anytime, Jamar for two against 675. Oh, that's, that's a nice. good multi. <laughs> that's bad, isn't it? Do we like want to, do, do we want to, we can even, you can bulk it up. There's some legs to be had in this. Sam Wicks anytime, get about a dollar fifty. Sam Adam, Wicks for a high five. What's that pay? <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's a million and one. Adam Trelaw. <laughs> Adam Jeez. Trelaw, after 25, he's been getting it every week. Isaac Henning for whatever you need him. Do yeah, you, we, we three we, and a quarter. On uh, our Honest Beers one this week, I had Trelaw for 25. You yep. can put that in there as well. I, I And we don't think Jordan goes to him because he's not impactful enough with no. his disposal. Yeah. So I think he probably he just, just runs gets, around. He's and, such yeah. a good stoppage player. Like he only, just yeah. finds it. Yeah, well, jo- what will he? Will, will Haywood anytime soon? Jordan, because... Yeah. Livers, Livers still out, yep, right? He and he's going to be out for a couple more weeks. Do, do, do they? Will the attempt Jordan will go to Bond? Is that the is well, no? But, but if Rowe Bottom will go to Rowe Bottom will go to Bond. Jordan will go Jordan to, will go to Dale or Richards. Dale or Richards. Yeah. So it's just a it's a horrible game to try and back many disposal winners for the doggies. But I think we can all no none of them are going to go to Troy. Yep. He will have twenty five. Yeah, I no agree. problem. He'll probably have thirty. I know we said last Thursday night there was an absolute goal mine. This screams another one of those games. If you love your players for a single, put them in. Yep. If you like your players for your touches, yeah. it could just Agreed. be an absolute stat sheet filler. So that's our multi for this. And then the love next it. game, so Friday night, so we've got the Pies and Freo. Obviously, you've already mm-hmm. said exactly. Pies getting the points is ridiculous. Uh, Jeff, there's some good markets in this one. Anyone? That yeah, I'm out never out? not betting on Caleb Sarong. Yeah, it should be a crime to leave Caleb Sarong out of your multis. He paints a midfield clearance painting every week, yes, and it's does. a work of art. Give me Sarong for thirty yep. at a dollar fifty three. It's hit four weeks in a row. He had thirty four and twenty nine against the Pies last year, and he's averaging thirty four and a half at home this year. And he's just such a. And I think Collingwood. They give up disposals, Collingwood. They don't care about the guns dominating them because they do it their own way. So, yeah, I'm going to take Cubs wrong for 30. I love that. I, I'm playing this again. Everyone thinks I'm some head-to-head punter. But, I, Wally, you convinced me before. I think the Pies win, and you're getting yep. $2.04 for them. So, Take it. taking the Pies head-to-head, and I just want one more leg. I've got Josh Dacos, 20. It's about $1.33. He's got 22, 28, and 30 in his last three. He's probably um, that sort of Pies wing or midfielder that's flying under the radar a little bit. Doesn't get talked about. I think the wide expanse is obviously um, Optus is the same dimensions as the G. He'll, you he'll say find, he had 30 on the weekend. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah, did too. He did. And he had 28 the week before. Yeah. And he's flying at the moment and he's got plenty of room to operate on that wing. So, yeah, give me Pies head to head into into Josh Dacos. I'm going for a little bit of value here. Joey Richards kicks goals. Uh, nice. Kicks goals yeah. in both his games. It's quite a small head. Yeah, I know. But he yeah. it, and <laughs> appears to be a goal kicker. Yeah. Yeah. No well, like head is not had multiple goal shots. Kicking. He had a plenty of opportunity. He got his goal. You can get him as big as a dollar seventy-five for a single. Dollar as I said, mm-hmm. I think they're going to go over there and win. Uh, this will be leave. their first look at him. This is uh, this is risky, but I feel it just jumps off. I love revenge games. Lockie Schultz for two goals is two dollars seventy. Oof, that, that's overs. That is a big seventy. So when I looked at it, it jumped out. You can see the first one he kicks. Yeah. All the pies are going to get to him. So yep. He'll kick one in the first, maybe even the first of the game, and they'll probably kick one in like the third quarter or something. While oh, they're okay. up. I just think two dollars seventy is massive. Yeah, yeah, I like it. And we got to, we got to have the kid, don't we? How many does Dacos get? Does he get twenty five? Does he get thirty? Thirty. No, he he's on a rampage. Go for him now. 
Is, we, is there any obvious Freo players that, that I don't think they tag, put a no. bit of work? I mean, Bailey Banfield's the only real. They just back themselves. The they player, They're not going to. I don't even know if he's. he's the only, the only thing is they love to blanket sides, whether they want to yeah. hold on to it, and it's like. When yeah. we played them, it's like low possessions. Do we just take him for 25? Yeah, what's oh, up? Dollar five. Dollar five. No, we'll just leave him. Right. Do we take him for 30? Dollar 38. Well, it, it, what does 25 do to the price of the multi? Well, it's pretty we'll, nice price as it is. We nearly don't need we it. We don't need him. We'll just sit back yeah, and enjoy his 40. I'm, I'm happy with this. So we got Sarong, 30. Collingwood head-to-head. Dacos, 20. Joe Richards, anytime. Lockie Shields, kick two. We're getting 13 to one. Hey, good. 13. We're fucking 13. giving out some absolute <laughs> cash. <laughs> What's that? 100%. These will be on the Patreon, the Discord. They get everything. Jeff's going to try and double his money. I'm coming back with my $3 multis. I'm hot. Hotter than fish grease or your mum in a sundress. So, uh, last week, <laughs> uh, on the on the Patreon, so I'm starting with 10 bucks on Thursday night. Just two to one multi, turn into 20, turn yep, into 40. It. Trying to do it for the whole weekend. Last week, Marcus Bondapelli, 20, stopped me. Uh, he had 18. 18. Oh. He had 10 and three-quarter time. Uh, yeah. It was the only leg that cost me. Then I hit for the Brisbane game, and then yep. I hit the next game. So I would have been having a $640 bet going into Melbourne, West Coast. But, oh, uh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's tough. Yeah, I, that absolutely. was a weird game. The wet yeah. weather just didn't help. Um, yeah, disappointing. Now, Jeff, this is – are we going to go again? Yeah, finally, yeah. We're we going to go again? We have to. So these are the fans that are still listening. <laughs> there wouldn't be many. Everyone is. We got 100%. Here. Jeff, kick us off. The 10K Punters Club is Yes. Back. Last week, we had 100 people jump in like that. We didn't even yeah. have to make a promotion. We didn't video. have to promote on Instagram or anything. We sent it to our Discord. People listened to the pod. There was 100 people in it by Thursday, Arvo. We put the $10 multi on. Yes. We are all ticks. We were relying on Christian Petrarca, two goals. He kicked one in the first half. We got to half time. Me and Dust filmed our Sunday pod at half time. He started watching again. He missed a set shot. He hits the post from an advantage kick. He doesn't kick two. It cost 100 people 100 bucks or brutal. $10,000. It cost yeah. 10 bad. But we're but bringing it back. It's not his fault. So the code for this week's 10K Punters Club to join in is XQX7W6. It's $10 entry. Set your name to, to your, your favorite leg of the weekend so we can look what people are vibing and are. Uh, I can tell you there's going to be five spots taken right now because we'll yeah, all be all in it. It's yeah. going to go on our Discord before it even goes on the podcast. It went up so there's so going to be fast. probably 30 more people. So it's going to be a hot ticket. So I hope you're in. Uh, that'll be the 10K Punters Club. We can't oh, wait to put the multi on There's so many good leagues. We've given out so many like good value bets as well this yeah. week. Like Just some of the head-to-heads, just the basic one. Newcomb for 20. Like Guys yeah. are just like, that's fucking hitting. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Lockie we'll go, we'll go safe. Jeremy we'll Cameron, two at $1.50. That is... <laughs> That's it. him. Hogan for two. Hogan for yeah, two. Hogan for two. That's fucked. Let's go. <laughs> that is so good. Boys, I reckon that's it. That's the pod. I reckon that is it. That is a long one. The pod's there. The ramble was unbelievable. We've gone through everything. The premiership pie, premiership Jeff, was pie awesome. Was, that was huge. <laughs> and also, obviously, the stock market. If there's any plays you love, buy them now because it fluctuates so much. So, 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 so much. Yeah. I, we say every week, Butters is the one to buy. Butters if he is gets three line. votes this week, it's eight to one next week. Yeah. I think 100%. Take it now. And then I'm looking at a cash out. I've got him and Kerno together. Coleman, oh. Brownlow. I had Charlie Kerno at six thirty to win the Coleman, and Butters at nineteen. So oh. I put that on three times, so twenty dollars on each. Yep. Oh, you're doing the your yeah. cash one so out. Yeah. Two, yeah. So they'll one, pay out. They'll one. pay out two thousand four hundred. So I'm hoping that Butters comes in, take a little cash out, couple hundred, and then I'll just let the other two ride. I've just got a. Uh, I've just got ha- Haney into the Swans about fourteen oh, times. Oh, you're already <laughs> done. Oh. Hey, <laughs> this looking good. Boys, thanks for coming. Hopefully, we can do it again. Uh, the Oh yeah, honest beers. Add honest beers on Instagram uh, and at Wally15 as well. If you want to follow him, don't Is worry that about Hodgie? me. Is that for Hodgie? Fifteen, yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 But everything's fifteen or nineteen. But thanks for having us. us. Thanks for having us, lads. That was Boys, great. unbelievable. Uh, we usually tip our teams like how we think our team's going to go. So Ooh. Carlton Gold Coast, uh, Blues by thirty-five. Swans by about twenty points on Thursday night. Saints to lose by about five. <laughs> All thought of losing a heartbreaker under the roof on Sunday. <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> you always got to tip. But that's good though because you you show that you're playing well against good teams, but you don't win, so it doesn't impact your draft you. position. So it's great. <laughs> Imagine losing a game and costing yourself a generational talent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, boys, cheer, <laughs> leave, yeah. baby, baby back ribs. <laughs> Chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, call one 858 858 or visit gamblinghelponline.org.au.